everybody. My name is Michelle. I am a spiritual practitioner and the founder of Angel Souls. I wanted to make this video because I've been seeing a lot of content being put out there by people in the psychiatric community that has really started to bother me. <laughs> so let's go right in here. What I'm talking about would be a lot of, like I said, I don't know what their titles are. They're all varied, but some of them are doctors and they're content creators in the psychiatric community that are coming out and every once in a while they'll make a whole video about spiritual practice or spiritual people or they will throw a little dig in there and it's usually very diminishing uh, and sometimes flat out inappropriate saying that empaths are BS that you know some of us are probably walking around with borderline personality disorder. So, you know, throwing these words that have big stigma, that have, um, you know, <laughs> there's consequences to that. You know, if somebody is listening to that and they're not in the best place, they're in a codependent place, they're trying to heal from narcissistic abuse, and they hear something like that, depending on the situation, just giving an example here, but you could be amping up a narcissist narrative towards the codependent that there's something wrong with them and again we just came out of that whole amber heard thing you're gonna be throwing that term around that's not nice okay <laughs> i mean people are going to it's not going to land very well and for people who are supposed to be all for mental health how are you going to be irresponsible like that with your words it's time we start putting you in your place it's a little odd that at least the content I've been seeing and the comments I've been hearing about the spiritual community, these or religion, for example, these are people who either have flat out said they don't believe in all of that or they have they don't have a lot of experience with it. Or if they do have an experience with a religion, it was something that caused them pain. And so they have this bitterness about it and they're going out there and spewing it all over the place. I just find it interesting. If you don't know about it, why are you talking about it? Why are you laying down absolutes that it's BS? Let me tell you something. I went through my whole phase <laughs> of being in the spiritual high because you know what? I had dealt with narcissistic abuse and other types of abuse for decades. And so when I found spirituality, I was vulnerable. I, if it felt good, I would believe it. And yes, I got sucked in by some false gurus. Now we're going to be talking about that here in just a second. But as I started to understand what was going on with me and what needed to be healed, again, that in my perspective is what spirituality is all about. It's not to replace therapy. It's not to do any of that. It's to become more aware of what needs to be healed. And yes, some people do treat spirituality like, like it, it's it, it's the cure. And I'm not in agreement with that. I do believe that if you have a good therapist, again, we're going to talk about that. If you have a good therapist and a good authentic spiritual practice, that really great things can happen. Your human experience can reach its potential. When I really started to get into my practice and I started to approach it from an authentic, you know, angle and really taking it seriously, it saved my life. Not a therapist. My practice made me feel like life was worth living. Made me feel like I still have a lot more to learn. It humbled me. Now, what I think is very interesting here is that people in the psychiatric community can make all kinds of comments that are very diminishing, again, not very nice. Putting terms out there that could really not land nicely for some people, could have some real consequences. And yet we in the spiritual community, we have to be careful about using the word anxiety because we could get nailed for practicing psychology without a license. It's very strange, it's very strange. Now, I do want to talk about Dr. Romani. Dr. Romani just came out with 
uh, video talking about narcissists in the spiritual community. Now to that end, I love that the doctors are out there talking about that. We need that. Yes, there are false gurus. I always say from like a spiritual standpoint that we have, you know, people coming into the spiritual community because they want to feel loved and accepted or they want to heal. You know, everybody has their different reasons, but there is a whole, you know, bit of the population that comes in here to feed on other people's vulnerabilities. And yes, there's toxic positivity. Yes, there are fake spiritual people. I deal with them all the time. Okay. <laughs> so if you want to make a video about that all the live long day, please do. Okay, please do. And if you guys are watching this and you haven't checked out Dr. Romani's content, make sure you go over there and check her out. She's amazing. She's absolutely amazing. And she has helped me a ton to wake up to what was going on because I, like I said, I've been dealing with it for decades and I thought it was normal. So she really helped me. And I, again, would tell you to go over and watch her stuff. But outside of that, some other content creators are spending a lot of time just spewing their bitterness, <laughs> right? Or um, they're so scientifically minded that everything else that's not, if it's not the way I see it, then it can't exist at all. Every time I see someone doing that, the thought that goes through my head, why aren't you policing your own community? Why aren't you getting your own children? Because this psychiatric community it's not healthy. It's not. You supposedly studied mental illness, personality disorders, I would hope. I know you recognize that either in yourself or in your colleagues. I can tell you from the clients I get and the stuff I hear from them that there are plenty of narcissists and sociopaths that make it through the system. Do you turn them in? What are you doing to clean up your own community? I don't think you should be going after people who are just trying to find peace in their heart. And by the way, meditation has been scientifically proven to work. What you doing? Why, why would you discourage people from doing things that actually are part of a therapeutic treatment? If you're so concerned about mental wellness, what are you doing to clean up your own community? I have come across plenty of therapists. One of them was my therapist from in the past. Malignant narcissist. She almost pushed me over the edge. Others that I've come across, they complain about their clients. They themselves, you can just tell by their personality and how they carry themselves and what they're doing, you know, just, just the whole picture. They're just, there's something going on there. And I'm not saying that therapists can't have their issues. Of course you can. But I don't want to go to a narcissist to discuss narcissistic abuse. There have been plenty of stories out there about psychotic therapists. Why is that getting overlooked? Are you going to laugh that off? It's not funny. People are going in to that area for help and maybe getting pushed over the edge. So to those of you out there who are being responsible with your words, thank you. To those of you who are pointing out the problems of spiritual, what I call spiritual sidestepping, uh, Dr. Romani said somebody coined the term um, bypassing, spiritual bypassing. Got you, okay? Please talk more about that. I would love to hear more about that because that's true. That's, you know, that's happening. But when you are out there trying to be the authority, especially when it comes to personality disorders or mental illness, and you're being diminishing, clean up your own backyard before you go after anybody else and go clean up your community because it's not great. So I just wanted to say that to any of you who have seen some of that content and you felt like a punch in the gut because you've already been through enough and maybe you're going to those channels to try to be better. I mean, the narcissist, Dr. Romney, listen to Dr. Romney. <laughs> the narcissist thing, that's a thing, okay? That, that, that happens. So you want to protect yourself in that way. But anybody who's just 
you know, they, they have one bad relationship and they have a degree in psychology and they're out there telling everybody that you're messed up all well, you know, just being nasty and spewing vitriol, vitriolic kind of language. I mean, no, <laughs> just, just, you don't need to take that in. That's not yours. And anybody, especially who is coming from the supposed scientific blah, 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 give me a break. Okay, listen, the whole world isn't on science. No, it's not. Thanks for playing. Thanks for coming out as the authority on the human experience and on life and on the universe. <laughs> Okay, science has not been right about a lot of things, okay? A lot of things are still in theory, like how the earth became what it is, all right? Have a seat. I'm going to make another video about something else because I'm getting ticked off. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully this was helpful to somebody. Again, clean it up.